everyone, I'm Jessica. I went on a fun little adventure this morning to my Bernina dealership and I picked up my new Bernina machine. So let's open it together. The machine I'm using is the Bernina 770 QE Plus and I'm so excited to get to use this. So how do you buy a Bernina machine? Bernina sells through a dealer network. So to purchase a Bernina machine, you have to find a local Bernina dealer and you go there and order your machine. The dealers are very knowledgeable and they can help you find the machine that will best suit your needs. When I went to pick up my machine, a worker at the dealer walked me through the whole machine. They asked if I wanted to take mine out of the box and learn on it or if I wanted to use on one of theirs. I chose to use one of theirs and they had the exact same model there for people to try out. So we sat down at the 770 QE Plus there. She showed me all of the information on the stitches, how to change the presser feet, how to thread the needle, how to fill the bobbin, how to take the bobbin out, how where to oil and how often to do it. And if I had any questions, she walked me through them. They had, like I said, they had the machine there. We did it on the machine and they also had manuals right by it. So she could pull them up if I had like a really in detail question. So they were very thorough and very knowledgeable and it was very helpful. So it, I enjoyed the experience so far. Bernina dealers also have classes. So when I was there, I got the schedule of their classes and then I could choose to sign up for a class to learn more about the machine. So that's a really good option too. This dealership let me know that you bring your machine with you and they have a classroom and then you go through the whole class. This one lasts for about three hours and they teach you in detail um, the functions of the machine and how to use them, which is helpful if you're just starting out and you don't really know too much about it or if you've never used a Bernina before, they'll teach you all the functions. So that's super helpful. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, I'm just gonna lower the box down. This is a super heavy box. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna put it on this chair here so you can see what I'm taking out from the box. And the first thing that's here is like a top box here with these two handles. So you can open up and lift it out. Okay. Okay, the first layer here has the extension table. So this table will fit onto the machine. It actually clicks into place. And this button is the button that you push to remove it when you want that off. So that's nice. And it has a, a roller down below, which is helpful. The other thing that's here is some thread. So Bernina uses Mettler thread whenever they're testing machines, whenever they have uh, trouble issues and machines get sent to their headquarters to be worked on. They always use Mettler threads. So the threads that are in your box are the ones that your machine was tested with in the factory when it was built. The next layer has the knee bar. And that will fit into the bottom of the machine and you can use your knee to lift the presser foot, which is helpful if your hands are busy holding fabric. The next thing here is a box with, let's see what's in it. Um, this has a little brush to clean the machine. It has a, like a guide for when you're quilting. It has the needles, a screwdriver, a seam ripper. Uh, so I'll show you these boxes. This is a basic tool set it says. So I'll show you what the details of what's in these once I get everything out. There's another box here. And this one has, okay, this one's labeled specifically for my machine. So B770. It's got all the feet, the oil. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, that's another foot and a stylus. Oh, and bobbins. So look at this little bobbin case, that's cute. So I'll show you these in detail too. The next thing that's here is the Bernina stick regulator. So this machine has, the, has this function, a stitch regulator. And what this does is it's a presser foot that hooks up to the machine. And um, when you're doing free motion quilting, it works 
so that this will plug into the back of the machine and this hooks on where the presser feet go. And it works so that whenever you move the fabric, no matter how fast or slow you're moving it, this will keep your stitches even. So it's really handy when free motion quilting. And I'll show you that up close um, when I, after I'm finished unpacking everything. So that's really handy. I'm excited to try that. The other thing here is the accessory case. So this comes with the machine and it is a spot. to hang your presser feet and to just organize all of your things. There's little drawers that she could fit into and it's a really handy, uh, clever little case for keeping everything neat and tidy. And let's see, there's one more layer to this, so let's see. And the last thing is this box, which is it's pretty heavy. I think it's gonna be the manual, so let's see. Yes. Okay. So it's got some information on embroidery. Now with my machine, I did not choose to add the embroidery module, although you can at a later time. So there's some embroidery information there. There's a warranty paper. There are these nice, we have a visitor. <laughs> there are these nice laminated cards. There's one for sewing and one for embroidery. And it has the pictures that will be on the machine and then it has what they are. So those are nice to keep around. Uh, this says Bernina accessories at a glance. So this is gonna be all the presser feet that you can buy um, and different accessories for your machine. It's, uh, it's really neat because they have, they tell you what the foot is, what it's for, and then they have these QR codes and you could scan that to get more information about each thing. And every single one has QR codes like that. So that's pretty handy. And the last thing that was in that box is the manual. Their manuals are super in-depth and they're really helpful for any questions you could have. It is a great place to go. They also have this machine on their website in a PDF, so you could always um, search it on the website too if, you, if you're somewhere and you don't have your manual with you. But I like to keep mine by the machine because I find that I refer to it quite a bit in the beginning. Okay, so that's everything that's in this little handy top layer. And then next in the box, there is, um, this is a machine cover. Let's see. Okay, so this will sit over the top of our machine. There's a space for the handle. It's got um, a really big pocket in the back here. That's nice, and then let's see. Oh, another pocket on the side, on this one side here, that has like a little, one side has this mesh lining so that you can stick something in it. And then uh, the pocket goes all the way down the whole length of this. So this is nice, this is a nice cover. It's really, really heavy duty and really well made, which is nice. And it has the Marina made to create on the front. And also in the box here, we've got the power cord and the foot. This is the Bernina foot pedal. And it has a little wind cord winder right here that you can just wind it around yourself. And then this is the part that plugs into the machine. But when you're packing it up, you can put it right there and it stays so that it won't unwind on you when you're traveling or packing it up, which is really nice. And the last thing is the machine. I moved everything aside so you could get a good look at the machine. And it comes with a little cover on it. And it has this tag tied to the handle here. And it says certified quality. And then it's signed by the person who worked on your machine in the factory, which is really nice. And then here is what the machine looks like. It's got this little plastic to protect so nothing gets scratched before it gets to you. And it's so pretty, isn't it? <laughs> I can't wait to start using it. Let's get a closer look at the machine and what it can do. So here is the machine. I'm sitting at the table with it now. I have it plugged in and I have the um, foot pedal plugged in too. 
I just wanted to show you how the extension table, it just slides right on. And then when you get to here, it'll click and then it locks into place so it doesn't come off when you're sewing, which is really helpful because my old one used to move all the time and I'd have to like push it in while I'm sewing. So this is really helpful that it locks. And then when you want to take it off, you just push the button down and just pull it off. I'll turn the machine on now. And here it's starting to come on. It has the home screen bringing a made to create with their website. Welcome. And it's just initializing. And this is what the main screen looks like. Let me bring you in a little closer so that you can see the screen. So this is what I'm looking at. This is the main home screen. So let me just show you. It has all of the details of what we're using now. And then over here are your different stitch types. So you have your regular stitches, your decorative stitches, alphabets, buttonholes. And of course, I'm excited about this next one. This is the quilting stitches. So the one that I'm the most excited about trying, which I learned at the Creative Center when I was there, is this stitch, 1301. And if you can see, right here is a live representation of what the stitch will be. And if you look in between the presser foot here, the stitches are really small and close together. Those are like anchoring stitches in the beginning. So you can use this one when you're piecing and it will sew a series of very small start st short stitches in the beginning and then it will go to the stitch length that you have set here and then towards the end it will do those slow um, those stitches that are grouped together again at the end to anchor in place which is awesome. So there are lots of different uh, quilting applique stitches and then the heart is for you can save your favorites. And then you can get back to the home screen. Clear will clear everything out and get you there. Um, I will go into more detail of all the functions of this machine as I start using it, but I just wanted to give you a little peek at what it looks like when it's on. Now we'll just show you what comes in each of the boxes. So this first box that came with the machine, which says the basic tool set, let me show you what's included in it. So this is the spool disc set. These come to help when you put your spools on the back of the machine, that everything is sitting correctly. We also have a foam pad. There's two of those. There is a screwdriver to loosen and tighten the screws. There are only like one spot that you should use this and then the dealer should do the rest. <laughs> this here is called the height compensation tool and this is to Okay, so if you're sewing something thick and your presser foot is at an angle, the presser foot won't function correctly because it can't grab your fabric when it's on an angle like this. So this tool can go under the back of it to just make your presser foot lay flat. So that's that. We have the seam guide. This is a right seam guide. So that would be inserted into the presser foot to guide um, when you're quilting if you want to evenly space lines. We have this wrench which opens the head frame. Uh, there is a seam ripper here for you. And then there is also a pack of needles, a variety of sizes for you to use. And that, uh, let me see what the, oh, and then a brush. This is the last thing in that basic tools bag. This is a brush for cleaning the dust and the lint out of the um, bobbin case and under the needle plate. So that's the first set. That's the basic tool set. And then the next box of stuff is specific to the 770 uh, model. So that says right on it, B770. And when we open this up, this has the feet that specifically come with this machine. thing in this one is this pack of bobbins. You get five bobbins when you purchase the machine. And these bobbins are one of my favorite things and I'm so excited about this machine. These are called jumbo bobbins. They hold more thread, 70% more thread than a regular bobbin, which is outstanding because you can sew longer without running out. The other things included in this B70 770 box is the Bernina stylus. 
You can use your fingers to touch the touch screen or you can use this stylus pen. So that's there. It's really nice. Um, it's not light and flimsy at all. It's like got a, a really good weight to it and it's nice to use. Another thing in here is the sewing machine oil. So you have a lot to get you started. And you know, we should be oiling this machine pretty frequently. So we'll go over that too in another um, video. Also included is a straight stitch plate. So this will be there if I'd like to switch my plate out to this straight stitch plate. It's nice to have this. And then the remaining things in this box are all the feet. So, and I'll explain the feet in detail in another video. So here I'll just show them off. This is the 20C, this is the open toe embroidery foot. I also have the 1D. This is the reverse pattern foot. I have 4D. This is the zipper foot. And this machine comes with this 97D patchwork foot. And then we have the 3A automatic buttonhole foot with this slider. And as I had showed you before when I unpacked the machine, the other foot that we get is this Bernina stitch regulator. And when I, this um, little manual was on the top of it, that explains about the foot. And then when I open it, this is what it looks like. So you can either, you can put any of these. The one that it has on is like a closed toe uh, foot. You can see it here. But you can switch it with the open toe foot that's in here also. And also with this bottom. And then this will plug in to the machine. And like I explained before, it helps keeping your stitches appear even, no matter how fast or slow you are moving the fabric beneath it. And the last thing I want to show you is the accessory case that comes with the machine. Okay, and here we can open these doors up and it has room to hang the feet that we got. So the buttonhole foot can fit right here and it will store that in there for us. In this bottom drawer here, there are more of these little racks for the feet so that you can hang up as many as you need on this other side and space them out however you'd like. So you would just put this in here like that and then you would take your foot and it just fits right under there and that way your feet are really accessible and you can just grab them whenever you need it and it stores them really nicely now these drawers if I put these other ones in the bottom drawer is completely empty and I can put whatever I'd like that to hold and I can keep all of my accessories for the machine in this one nice little container. I'm also going to put the oil in here and probably my bobbins I'll put in the bottom drawer for now. I know I'll be winding these like right away. <laughs> but it's nice to be able to keep everything really stored nicely and um, it's functional and it's beautiful. So thank you very much for spending time with me today and watching me unpack my machine and tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to have many more tutorials to come on how to use this machine, my favorite features, and anything you can think of. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you so much for following along with me. See you soon.